Madison Arts Commission is a municipal agency that advises the city on matters of arts and culture. We do grants to artists and um, people who have ideas about things that they would like to produce to bring enjoyment, pleasure, beauty, interest, uh, intellectual acquisitiveness to our city and uh, people come and visit it. Blink is the temporary public art pro uh, program that the commission runs. Temporary public art allows you to do more and take more risks, um, experiment more. We look for things that are unusual, things that are exciting, things that are fun. We look for things that would break up the monotony of a particular place. There's a lot of creativity in this city and uh, each time we have one of our grant reviews I'm just bowled over by how creative the people are. I contact the artists and work with them to get the necessary permissions that they may need to execute their idea. If there's a city agency, it gives a permit to do, you know, to do something you want to do. We've had some very bizarre um, applications, things that we had to talk over a little bit longer than some others. Uh, most of the time, we decide that if it has merit and we can find a way to do it, we will make it happen. And so an artist has to learn to navigate that and I try to help them run through the red tape. Karen uh, Wolf, our uh, administrator, is very good about working with the artists ahead of time uh, and the applicants. And uh, she looks at the applications and if there are things that could cause um, questions or problems or issues amongst the uh, commissioners, she usually tries to head that off. Almost anything is possible eventually. So you just have, even if it's changing an ordinance, right now you cannot paint on uh, on a bike path in Madison. But if someone, and, and a couple years ago, a group of people wanted to do a city repair project, which would create sort of a mandala on a city um, street. And I said, no problem, we just have to change the ordinance. And they, <laughs> they didn't want to go through that, but I'm willing to go through that. That just involves talking to an alder, getting, um, getting support around that idea. And if the citizens want it, it can happen. So it may take three years to make that a reality, but even if it means you know, going on the state level and changing something, anything is possible. We had 15 awards to Blink applicants in the year of 2009, and they were so diverse and they were so exciting and so memorable. I, I talked to someone today about a public art piece who's, that's been there 30 years in front of the public library, and he said, is it big? And I said, yeah, it's very big. And he said, huh, I walk by there every day. What is it? You know, it's, it's become so much a part of the background of the, of the visual landscape, where temporary public art um, is meant to kind of interrupt that quotidian space. You know, you're walking to work, and it's like, why is there a klezmer band on the bike path? 